A major development in the murder of a 14-year-old Armada girl. Simon Shaquette kicks off tonight's Top 10 at 10, and he joins us now live. Simon. Good evening, Glenda and Malcolm. You know, a couple hundred people came out to a fundraiser today where T-shirts just like this were being sold. Meantime, we learned that records show a registered sex offender resides at an address that was searched today by law enforcement. A seven action news camera rolls as agents with the FBI arrest one of two people taken into custody today. State police tell us the two arrests came after an illegal marijuana growing operation was discovered inside a house they were searching in connection with the murder investigation of 14 year old April Millsap. It basically shattered the way we lived out here in this community where we thought we were uh, away from all that, that kind of stuff and now it's arrived here and it's taken away the innocence that we all we've all uh, lived with. I've been here for like four generations. Mike Kelly is feeling what a lot of people in this community are. In nearby Goodell's, where cops and agents carried out their search at this home on Marquette, more disbelief. It's quite shocking. Quite shocking. It's very upsetting to know it's right down your road. Bags of evidence were rounded up by the elite FBI evidence response team from a total of two search locations. <laughs> Later in the day, at this park near downtown Armada, a fundraiser underway in April's memory. She was always very sweet and very loving. We're out here today selling t-shirts to try to defer some of the costs that Jennifer's going to incur with funeral expenses. Millsap's body was found last week off a popular bike trail near the center of Armada where she was from. She was walking her dog when she disappeared. Everyone from family and friends to neighbors now watching and waiting for news of an arrest. Pretty close. Every night I've been watching it and uh, paying attention to it. We're uh, putting uh, the ribbons up with uh, pink being her favorite color to uh, signify our, our support for her and finding the, her killers and bringing them to justice. Now, if you would like to donate, we put all the necessary information on our website, WXYZ.com. Coming up at 11, we're going to talk more about what the FBI could be doing behind the scenes as we speak. Reporting live in Armada, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Thank you, Simon. Family and friends will gather tomorrow for April's visitation. It'll take place at the Tiffany Young and House Funeral Home. That'll be from 2 until 8 tomorrow evening. Her funeral will be held Friday morning at St. Mary Mystical Rose Church in Armada at 11 o'clock. Be sure to stay with 7 Action News. We will bring you the latest developments in April's case on air and on